Hi, and welcome to my Snappy Chats. I'm super excited. I'm here again. It's a Wednesday morning in Sydney. And I'm Christine Bell. I'm a customer strategist, but we're not here to talk about me today. If you want to find out more, feel free to connect with me. I'm super excited about these chats because I started them over a year ago, and it's all about how we can learn and grow together in business because what I learned in the last eight, nine years in my business is it can get really lonely, especially if you're a one-man band or small team. It can get really, really learn lonely, but the fact is, there's so many of us small business owners out there who all go through the same challenges. So we can learn and grow together. And this is what I love, building communities. And LinkedIn has turned out to be a fantastic place to build communities. And with this in mind, I'm going to bring on my beautiful guest. She is just gorgeous, Claudia Marulanda. I think I pronounced that correctly. She's from Colombia. Hopefully she can correct me with my Spanish accent. Uh, she is amazing. And I know her really, really well because she is an artist. She is a workshop facilitator. She is a coach when it comes to really connecting with our emotional uh, uh, feelings and how to heal and process them and move into joy. And she's also an amazing graphic designer. And she has actually recently helped me in my business. And if you look on my LinkedIn profile, you'll find that I have a beautiful new brand logo. I have a beautiful new name. I had a beautiful look and feel and it's all down to claudia so with this in mind i'm going to bring on claudia hello claudia thank you for being here hi i'm so excited to be here with you christine and thank you for all those beautiful words <laughs> you're welcome so tell us i mean i've mentioned it now but do you want to share a little bit more about what you're passionate about and i'm just going to say hello to melissa and aj as well thank you for being here already Okay, well, <clears throat> you pretty much say everything. I mean, right now what I'm doing is is using art to help like women and individuals, you know, if they're overwhelmed or if they're looking for more fulfillment to connect to themselves through art. So I use art in a very unique way. It's therapeutic. It's not therapy, but it brings healing to us because it's a way to, to connect and, and allow ourselves to express ourselves and and yes, I used to be a graphic designer. I was a graphic designer for 15 years. And when I hit like an emotional rock bottom that I went through a very difficult place in my life, that's when I left that career and that's when I started creating art. So there was a, a big shift there, but I, I still, you know, embrace the graphic designs. I, I embrace anything that is creativity. And I love that. And I love that about you. And my goodness, just look at the background you got there. I am just drawn to your art. It is just, I just love it. And it just speaks to me on so many levels. And it's so funny you mentioned this thing around um, the benefit, well, not funny, but it's amazing, the benefits of art. And actually, we all have an artist within us. We may not all be equally talented like you, but we all have an inner artist, yeah? And through the lockdowns, I actually started drawing again. And I totally agree with you that just this sense of peace that I get from it, the sense of joy, because I wasn't sharing it with anyone. You're actually the one of the first people I shared my art with. So thank you for not being judgmental and actually taking it on board. But if for me, it was actually a place for coming back to my home. It helped me come back to my to myself and it allowed me to just be in joy because I was just enjoying myself and it was non-judgmental. There was no judgment because I wasn't sharing it with anyone. So it just made me feel good. And then when we started working together and you helped me with a beautiful logo, I love how you took one of my drawings and you literally turned, redrew it and turned it into a logo for me. So I so appreciate it because it's me, but it's a co-creation with you and you taking your talents and taking it to the totally next level. Yes, I, <clears throat> and I love that opportunity and I, I am grateful for it because I can see the same way I, I do commission portraits, you know, like I, I want to get the essence of the person in the portraits or when people create art, I want them to really express themselves through your logo. I wanted to get your essence. You want it to be more of the, the bright Christine that you are. And, and thank God you had all this beautiful art that you created that it was an expression of yourself and i was like what better logo than to have your own art there so that was the beautiful thing that it i feel fully satisfied because it's something that is yours is very unique to you is very personal and it, it yeah. just tells more about you you know it becomes more of like your individuality your personality in yeah. it 
And I love that. So thank you so much because I know you're foremost an artist, but the fact that you're able to actually use your art to create original logos for me was just just what I really wanted. And, was, and I'm so appreciative of it. And for you to say, let's use your art and let's recreate that. And I'm so honored that you, you thought it was good enough, so to speak, yeah, because I had judgments around it myself. So I so appreciate that. And and I think it's going to lead us into our topic today, which we talked about before we got on. But I just want to say hello to Chris, Melissa, Izzy is here, Isabel is here. We know we love you all. So thank you so much for being here. And I just want to give a shout out to the House of Business because and Mike Asher Browner, because that's how I met you in the first place. Yes, that's how we met. So yes, big right. shout out to Mike and all the hounds yeah and guess what this is what it brings into because we were talking about this idea when you are in your own business and you are working as a one-man band or maybe a few people but you're still you know in the in the growth phase yeah and you don't have a huge team yet and you don't necessarily have all the skills because one thing they don't tell you when you start a business is you got to be not just a master of your own craft but you're going to have to become a master of all skills and this is what you said to me the other day you said you know what the big challenge is being resourceful yeah becoming resourceful yeah. in our own business it's it's a big challenge and just like what we were talking about it's it's like it just becomes so overwhelming you know like it, it's not only like how to build your business you know the social media how to how to tell your story how to you know like who is your audience how to there's just so many little pieces that it just becomes so much having a logo sometimes I, I don't even have my own logo yet, but you know, having a logo, having all these pieces, and it's I, I feel like it's knowing like what do we need now? And then how do we become resourceful? How do we uh grow together? Because that's one of the beautiful things that we have what I have learned from the hounds by meeting Mike, meeting you and other amazing people. It's like how do we collaborate, how we grow together, how do we support each other? So it was great that you know i was able to support you with this and then you're supporting me with other things and and i just believe that you know everything's about creating that community and and be willing to ask because that's something that i i wasn't used to and i'm learning still to ask and be comfortable and i'm glad that you came to me and we had the conversation and that's what led to this this collaboration, collaboration. I know. And this is the beautiful thing because, you know, sometimes as well, when you start a business, we may not have many clients at the beginning, or at least the clients will be up and down. It's like a mm -hmm. roller coaster for a while for many, unless we already have our customers ready and waiting when we start a business, but most don't. Um, then it's a roller coaster. And sometimes, you know, we want to, you know, I wanted a new logo. I wanted a new brand design. I wanted a new look and feel. You know, I did like my green, but it didn't feel like me 100%. And then, like you said, we've got to be resourceful. So if we can't, we don't have the money, who can we collaborate with? Who can we co-create with? How can we share our talents and build each other up? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And and that's the beauty of it. And and I'm just so excited because each day, like I, I learn more and it just life becomes a little easier. It just feels like, you know, you at least you have someone that you can talk to about something or someone that can support you with this. And then you can support them with something else. Because I believe in life, uh, I don't think in school we ever learned this. And someone told me this a while ago, like in school, you're, you, you, they teach you to do everything on your own. Like you got to take a test on your own because otherwise you're cheating and you're failing. So we're not taught to work together. Maybe nowadays, I don't know, because I'm not in school anymore. But now as entrepreneurs we got to learn to like work together even if we're in different businesses like how can we support each other so we can grow together just like you said before yeah and, and it is definitely i think you're absolutely right and what a good example around the school you know we are taught we have to do everything individually but the fact is we came in as a species of humans we're not here alone yeah and yeah. we all have different talents and different superpowers different strengths yeah and so for me, it's about really tapping into who we are and knowing our strengths and then also knowing how we can barter, how we can share our strengths with others. And sometimes that means there's an exchange of money and sometimes there's an exchange of talents and exchange of ideas. And I love that whole idea of being resourceful and becoming more resourceful in our business and thinking about it 
creatively and differently. Yes, yes. And and that's only been possible for me to learn how to be more resourceful is by talking to more people, is by the people actually, some of the people that I have met in the hounds. I just had a conversation with uh, Ron Douglas and he was teaching me how to be resourceful if I don't have the money, because he says we don't always need money. So if I don't have the money, like, what can I do? What ideas, how creative can I get around the, the subject to, to make whatever I need to happen, happen? And there's always a way, unfortunately, you know, a lot of times we can't think it of on our own. So we yeah. need more people. So that's why creating community is so important and, and so helpful. Yeah, because we can, like you said, grow together. And I love that conversation that you had with Ron Douglas, who is also part of the Hounds. And I watched this interview with my Asher Brown and I think it was Isabel as well uh, the other day. And it was just amazing in terms of learning from him. And I love this whole idea because I think sometimes we get a little bit stuck. I must, you know, we all want to make money in our business. Don't get me wrong. It is important. We've got to sustain our living. We've got to, to us to share more of our talents with more people. But the idea of getting away with, well, if I can't make money, then why am I doing it? Well, sometimes in the building phase, especially, uh, think, like you said, think about other ways that we can build. What do we need? What is important to us right now? And and so I do do this, which is why I'm so grateful that you were willing to share talents. So we were, we're sharing talents. I hope you don't mind sharing in terms of you have helped me amazingly. You know, I couldn't do this on my own and you come in and and, and I picked you out because I love your art. And I'm like, I want Claudia to help me create an original stuff for me and my brain look and feel. And then thankfully you said, yes, I would like to also get inspiration from you. So I'm you know, thankful that you said yes, and I'm able to also share my talents with you. And hopefully that will hopefully help you in your business too. So I think we got to get clear on, you know, what do I need and who potentially, who that I energetically resonate with, could I potentially share with? I'm not saying do it all the time, but for the right things, who could we uh, swap or exchange um, our talents with and collaborate with and build something with as well? Yeah, yeah. And like you said, it's <clears throat> and it's like, when is the right time? When when do we do it? Because, yes, we can't do it the whole time because we do need, you know, to bring in that income. But yeah. when is the right, right time and, and when is the most valuable, I, I think, right? Exactly, 100% agree. So, you know, you're already a creative being. You are naturally very creative. So what are some of the ways that you have thought about or you've spoken to Ron about, if he does, you don't mind sharing about your conversation, that we can become more creative in how we think? What, what's a great way to tap into our creativity? Because it is the right versus the left brain thinking, isn't it? Yeah, well... <clears throat> I, it's going to be different for everyone. So it's, it's just going to be so different. But I think it's willing to be open to have conversations and willing to be open to not always thinking about money. Because sometimes when we just get so locked down into money, we might like block ourselves. So one thing that I learned is that when we're in survival mode, our imagination kind of like shuts down like that area where we really get creative it shuts down that's why we feel stuck because we can't think of like ideas so we need to be able to relax feel free you know just just be in a in a good place like a, have our nervous system like really relax so we can think clearly and come up with ideas and like i said before i i think one thing that really helps is just having conversations and, and just being vulnerable also. Cause for me, that's a big thing. Like, how can I be vulnerable in saying that I need this when I feel, I might feel a little shame or a little bit of embarrassment, but it's, it's being willing to say, Hey, you know, I'm struggling with this and, and I need help. You know, can you help me think of an idea? Can you connect me to someone? Can, you know, can we brainstorm? So, it's just yeah. being willing to be to open up and that's how it's going to happen because sometimes we can't do it on our own so we need those other people yeah yeah because we all have different strengths different superpowers and when we realize that we're not just here on our own to make it happen that we can accept help and it's okay to ask i think that's such a big point you bring up here be it's hard though it is hard but when you find people that you know like and trust like in a community like the hounds 
then you will find your people even within there where you feel a connection and with time as we build our relationships and it is a relationship building thing you know it allows us to open up to be vulnerable it allows us to be open to asking for help or saying you know what i don't really know this i know this really well and i stand by that but you know i'm a little bit insecure over here for me that's technology yeah and, and mm-hmm. there's a lot of things where i'm like i don't know what i'm doing yet but there are other people who do and this is where it's like it's you know you talk about this shame and i hear that but it's so important that we remember i think that we step into our own truth that we step into our own uh power in terms of really recognizing how unique and what we bring to the party as well because that means when we ask for help we're not feeling insecure because we already know what we are about to what do you think of that when we ask for help that we don't feel insecure yeah that the idea that we also need to be able to see our own power we need to be able to see our own strength so we don't think that you know we've got nothing to offer to others i think i mean for me like seeing my own strength is being willing to be vulnerable because yeah. i'm not going to see it on my own until I'm vulnerable enough to ask for help and have the conversation and allow other people to come in and and tell me what they see in me because a lot of times we don't see it this is why people need coaches this is why you know people pay a, a lot of money to to have that support to be in a community where they get that support we had a conversation recently that you you said something about me and and then I was like, oh, I never saw that. I never realized that. Kind of like talking to that superpower. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? Christine's right. <laughs> it's like, I, 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 can, can I share what I said about you? Okay. <laughs> so I think personally, and I'm sure everyone here who knows you, Jason is here as well, Melissa and Izzy and everyone who's here is, you're so good. And maybe I said a few things, but you're so good at tapping into how people feel and to allow people to feel good as well and to know what they need at the time you just have an instinct and you're talking to me because i know you work with uh, in facilitative care as well and teach art there you can feel when someone needs a little touch someone needs someone to just be there in their presence and acknowledge their presence yeah and who they are mm-hmm. Yeah, and I didn't. I didn't really think much of that. I'm like, you know, I'm just. I I just think I'm a compassionate person, and and that's it. But I didn't really see it as a big deal until you said it, and I was like, okay. So it it brought back memories of what other people have said, and I was like, okay. So maybe I need to really appreciate that aspect of me a little more. So that's why we we always need someone around. We need someone else someone, to see it. Yeah. Someone that, of course, is not going to be criticizing us, but is going to help us grow. <laughs> I know. So it's about building each other up because, you know, naysayers, you know, they don't really help us build the business. We need people who support us, who believe in us, believe in our talent. And I think that is why you say, you know, what you're saying around having a community like the house. It's so important to have that, to have like-minded people who actually see who we are and are able to share that with us so we can see it in ourselves too. And for me, working in the area that I work with, which is all about understanding your unique value proposition, for me, it's often around how we make people feel. That is, that's really what people remember, yeah? And Maya Angelou said that so well with her po- poet, which is all about people don't remember what you say, they don't remember what you do, but they remember how you make them feel. And for me, that has been sh- such a key thing and what I hope to bring to others when they work with me is around what is actually your your biggest superpower when it comes to how you make people feel because that's half the battle one right there up top of it yeah when you walk in in terms of your brand and in terms of how you come across in terms of how people connect with you yeah and i just wanted to add something about like when we ask for help because i know i have asked for help for certain people and i haven't received that help so I think we have to be willing to, just like in sales, we have to be okay with rejection or yeah. getting that no. The same Huge. thing with asking for help. You know, we got to be okay with it because we never know, you know, maybe the person doesn't feel comfortable enough. Maybe they feel they don't have the right, whatever. It doesn't really matter. It's like, okay, if they say no, yeah. let me find someone else. But I think that's really important, especially for entrepreneurs, because that's, 
I, I truly believe that's the only way we can grow when we create community and we ask for help. I think that is such an important point is uh, that you make there because rejection is hard for the best of us, yeah? Especially if you keep yeah. getting rejection and you're like, what's wrong? Yeah, I don't get it. I'm showing up authentically and no one seems to be, uh, seem, you know, seeing it. And sometimes I would say, having been on a personal development journey myself, part of it is that we have to see it in ourselves for other people to see it and to attract people in who see it. But once we start seeing it, and we start attracting other people in just because someone says no over here doesn't mean there aren't a whole group of people over here saying yes we just got to find them sometimes and that's why like to your point that you keep you know that you mentioned is find that community where you feel energetically and emotionally and who you are as a person that you fit in because they yeah. we all have tribes and we don't fit with everyone so it's important to find the ones where we feel we belong yeah so so christine so so you're happy with the logo <laughs> i love the logo and i just it's free and it's colorful and it's my colors and i also just want to give a shout out to sierra because actually i also was exchanging services for her and she's like the first thing she said to me and she's so intuitive she goes uh yeah you got to change your colors yeah i go what she goes yeah you got to change them that's not you I'm like, exactly. And I'm like, well, actually, I've been thinking about rebranding for a couple of years, but I didn't have the resources and I didn't know how to make it happen without, you know, having, you know, thousands of dollars to do it. And so she kind of started getting me into understanding me and what my brand was and who I am as a person and why green was a beautiful color, but it didn't really match me. Mm -hmm. And then I got to work with you because I already had you, I already had you singled out, you know, because I've loved your art from the whole time. And I'm like, I really want to work with Claudia. So I'm just going to ask. I'm just going to ask if she wants to. Yeah. Well, she exchanged and and then, you know, we made, you made it happen for me and you took it much further in terms of the colors and and what it should look like and saying, hey, you know, and I felt wonderful. I shared my my art that I never showed with anyone. And but you you were not a naysayer. You're like, wow, this is amazing. Let me work with that and see what I can take from that and co-create from that. So together we can co-create two brains are better than one. You know, you know, in terms of thinking out outside the box, and this is where you came in, and you just took it to a whole nother level, and I so appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted, and and my thing is like, I wanted you to have that. I see it like that new energy, that new vibrancy that you have, because sometimes when we have, even when we change clothes, you know, we we feel different. Like when we're yeah. dressed down, we might not feel that great, but with when we dress up we change the, the way we feel, we act differently. So I think it's the same thing, like it, it helps us operate from a different end. It brings like new energy. So so I'm glad that I'm glad that you're happy. <laughs> I still love that. And I highly for anyone is listening now or later, I really highly recommend you reach out to Claudia. If you're Thank looking you. for, you know, creating a personal, unique, original uh, logo, I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna, you know, I know you're not, you know, you're an artist, but you're also a graphic designer, and and you are able to combine those two. And for me, that makes you stand out like big time in terms of that service as well, because you actually, you know, use your creativity and your art, and you're able to translate it into a very original logo. So yes. I highly recommend anyone to reach out to Claudia if you haven't done it already. Have a chat with her. That's my little. <laughs> for you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. So we're going to finish up now. I'm just going to look at some of the points here. We've got a lot of people saying, AJ is saying, asking for help is a sign of strength, not weakness. Absolutely. Rejection comes and goes in life. They serve to us. Learning opportunities, that's so true. Uh, people are saying that's a beautiful offer that Claudia has helped and, and to recognize that Christine, absolutely. She's amazing. And Melissa, uh, what is she saying here? Wonder Woman, she talks about, uh, she just did one about a painting she titled Wonder Woman that got me thinking and another about the strong woman in her life on Women's Day. Is that you who did that? Um, I didn't That's hear well, but I, I do call my, I have a coloring book that I call Sensational Wonder Women and I have a, a collection that I call Wonder, Wonder Women. So yeah. that's that's a big thing for me. Yeah. Wonderful. And we're going to finish up now. So before we finish, do you want to just share about some of the things you might have coming up, a little bit more about how people can work with you or anything that, that, that they can even just connect with you? 
Sure. Well, uh, anyone can connect with me on LinkedIn. Um, I'm pretty active on LinkedIn. I have my website, which is my last name, Marulanda Art. I don't have, I'm going to start having uh, some free coloring workshops where we color according to emotions. And this week I'm setting up the first one, so I don't have that yet. But I do, I've been doing a little more of the painting events, like the paint and sips. And the cool thing is that, of course, I, I want to be different. <laughs> so I don't do the typical paint and sips because to me, art is a tool to, you know, heal, feel better, you know, just to bring something extra. So in my painting events, we paint your future self portrait. So it's based on emotions and so on. So I've been doing those events. I did one last week. I'm doing one before the end of this week. And I'm really enjoying it because it, it brings out something different in the participants. So if anyone's in New York and wants a very unique, special event, you know, I'm available for that. And you know what? This fits so well with what you're doing there. It's about, you know, it's all about we just talked about seeing your own strengths. And, and if we can visualize our future self, we're buying in. That's pretty much painting and drawing and, and coloring our, our strengths. And what's yeah. amazing about us, yeah, that's what it really takes us to. Bringing clarity, helping to bring clarity, because I feel like when, when we're unclear, we're, you know, that's when we feel stuck, we feel scared to take yeah. the next step. So if I can bring a little clarity to people and help them find joy in that area, you know, I'm happy to do that. I love that. And we'll finish up now. And I just want to say I have taken one of your free uh, coloring classes before, and I just love it. I mean, I'm into it, and I didn't. I used to draw when I was little and color. Gave it up until four years ago, and with the lockdowns in Sydney, they were pretty horrific. I was like, okay, I got to do something, yeah. And I started coloring again, and it turned out it was so healing for me. So I wholeheartedly buy into what you do and who you are. So thank you so much for your time, and feel free to share anything in the comments. Anyone that's on here now or later, please reach out to Claudia and get to know this wonderful woman. So thank you so much for your time today. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Christine. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. All right. Take care, everyone. And thank you for everyone who's here today.